Hi, I'm Leo Penny. I'm the program director for intermodal transportation at the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. Uh, the big news right now in Washington is uh, getting stimulus money spent in uh, productive intercity passenger rail projects. We have about 30 states meeting as the Standing Committee on Rail Transportation with federal officials, Amtrak and others to make sure that uh, they get that job done immediately and get it done well. The opening speaker for the Standing Committee on Rail Transportation meeting was Joe Boardman. Boardman is currently the president and CEO of Amtrak and was greeted warmly by this committee because when he was the Commissioner of Transportation in New York, he chaired the committee. And in between, he spent uh, several years as the uh, administrator of the Federal Railroad Administration. I think it's very clear the mission for Amtrak today. It's to provide efficient and effective intercity passenger rail mobility consisting, and mobility is the new word, one of the new words in that mission, consisting of high quality service that's trip time competitive with other inner city travel options. And those inner city travel options are different depending on where we see it. Uh, for example, in the Northeast Corridor, especially New York to Washington, we know the, uh, the uh, trip time competitiveness is with air. And we know in most other cases it's with highway. So when you're in New York State and operating at 79 miles an hour between Albany and Buffalo, that's about as fast as you can drive on the thruway, and that's not trip time competitive. And I think that's why in New York they're looking at 90 or 110. <laughs> Even though originally I think they were looking far beyond that, the reality of what is necessary and what can happen for the future of this industry is particularly important in terms of what we can do and what we should do for the future. Boardman emphasized his three well, we looked, major themes for the Amtrak strategy, safety, going green, and health, and health both of the employees of Amtrak, but also financial health of the Amtrak Corporation. Safety is the critical element in any transportation program, and uh, that grows substantially under this reauthorization. In terms of being greener, I think people today are understanding not only the fact that our environment needs to be uh, taken care of, but that we're running out of a lot of the petroleum resources, or at least running out of them in a way uh, that le lets them be cheap. So uh, one of the things that I think the public really begins to understand is how do we maintain mobility for our business and for our, uh, for our, our pleasure travel for the future. And I think that it is uh, back to the rails. We need the support of the states. We need the support of our passengers. We need the support of the federal government, our freight railroads, to, to, for all of us to have a uh, healthier financial future for our country and for, our, uh, uh, for all of our generations in the future. A panel of federal officials explained and then discussed with uh, the state representatives how the programs would be administered and how the states could move quickly to uh, successful grant applications uh, and to the investment of the funds. The officials represented the Federal Railroad Administration, which is the administering agency for eight billion plus, the Federal Highway Administration, which will be responsible for administering uh, projects in another section of stimulus, and the Secretary's Office. The Secretary's Office was represented uh, because uh, it is responsible for a $1.5 billion large project program that can include investment in railroads. The objectives of the, uh, of the, uh, of the Act are um, on the one hand, to uh, create and preserve jobs and to get uh, sort of get uh, funds expended uh, very quickly. Um, but uh, there also um, is a purpose of the, uh, of the act to uh, invest in uh, transportation infrastructure, which will have uh, long-term economic uh, benefits. The three programs, uh, 301, which is the inner city passenger rail, 302, which is the congestion program, and 501, the high speed program, each have slightly different eligibility criteria, slightly different uh, el eligible applicants and so on. So there's some sort of an, uh, nuances we have to work through. 50% of the funds um, must be obligated with win within 120 days. 
and otherwise they are taken back and redistributed. Uh, we want to thank the members of that panel and the members of all of the panels and speakers over the course of the two-day meeting uh, for the assistance, the information, the advice they provided on how to move the uh, rail transportation agenda forward. It was an important, successful, and uh, probably historic meeting. I'm Leo Penny with ASHTO. Thank you very much for watching.